Please welcome this year's chair of the Thea Nominating Committee from the Bizark Group, Adam Bizark. And next year's chair of the Thea Nominating Committee from Visual Terrain, Lisa Passamonte Green. We did not know that was going to happen. <laughs> <That's good>. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alien Worlds. <laughs> Alien Worlds. Th they are at the same time liberating and confounding for designers. Creating landscapes, history, uh, culture, vernacular and sacred architecture, music, costumes, everything has to be new, unique, and otherworldly. Disney's Imagineers, in collaboration with director James Cameron, sought to bring to life the world of his blockbuster film, Avatar. The result is a 12-acre tour de force of placemaking, an earthbound version of the breathtaking Navi world. The new area has been praised for its unparalleled level of detail and immersive qualities that envelop all of the senses. This is Pandora, the world of Avatar. Accepting the Thea Award for Outstanding Achievement, please welcome Zolt Homé and Matt Beeler from Walt Disney Imagineering. Good evening, everybody. It's an honor to be here. And uh, I have to say, of course, you know, I never thought when I left my country back in 87, 23 years of age, that I can be here on this stage and celebrate with all of you to do what we do, which is creating wonderful worlds. And I would like to say that, uh, of course, hundreds of people took part creating uh, the land of Pandora. But I would like to take this opportunity to thank the ones who are actually here tonight. Uh, part of my little studio, Fabrice Canal, who has been a partner of mine for 30 years, doing all the beautiful things, uh, creating all the rock work with Arthur Rolage's, you know, support. The beautiful colors that were done by uh, Vess Roach and Colin Meyer. And, and of course, you know, creating that world we have to we had to leap way way beyond what we could have Im imagined with the technology that we had in hand, and uh, the ingenious of Steve Porter, you know, to create all the beautiful <laughs> Pandoran plants and the artificial foliage with the support of Rob Jewell to help us to do every day what we can do to make sure that we stay on schedule. It's an honor to be working with these folks, and also I would like to say that if we put the world aside. You know, I think that we are one of the luckiest people that we can do what we do to make the world a better place every day. We're very lucky. Let's keep it, let's keep doing it. Thank you very, very much. And this is Matt, Matt, please. I'm often asked how many people it took to build Pandora, and I struggle with that question because uh, it, it's like a, it's thousands of people. It's really tough to draw a line of who worked on it and, and, and how to com come up with that list. So I find myself in a predicament here of trying to figure out who do we thank uh, standing up here in front of you. And, and 
I thought to myself this week, I could thank one job title and cover everyone. And, and that job title would be artist, because every person that worked on this project, uh, no matter the role, they were an artist, because what they created was a work of art. And so I, I, I thank all of the artists. It, it was a pleasure to work with you. Uh, one of the greatest experiences of my life. And so on behalf of all of the artists, uh, the, the contractors, the vendors, the consultants, uh, Lightstorm Entertainment, and the Navi uh, of the Moara Valley, uh, I, I, we thank the Theme Entertainment Association for, for honoring us with this award. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, one more thing. I'm sorry, somebody could not be here tonight. Stefan Helwig, thank you so much. He was the creative director for the project.